And good evening. We welcome you to Defiance High School. It's the start of the basketball season here on WOSN. Good way to kick off the season. A couple of rivals set to do battle as the Napoleon Wildcats will come to Defiance to take on the Bulldogs. Hello again, everyone. Alongside Jeremy Wolf tonight, I'm Randy Roberts. Wolfie looking forward to what should be a pretty a good matchup here and a good way to kick off the season here. And I believe we may quickly step aside for the uh, national anthem here while we have a chance. But uh, pretty excited to have you here tonight, buddy. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. What a phenomenal facility, and you couldn't ask for a better way to kick off the season than uh, Defiance and Napoleon. So we'll step aside quickly here as uh, we'll listen to the uh, Defiance Pet Band perform our national anthem. As they get ready to announce the uh, lineups that will give us the chance to take a look at the projected starting lineups for tonight. Let's start with the Napoleon Wildcats under head coach Chad Bosseman. Finished 12 and 13 a year ago, knocked off Defiance in a sectional final at Paulding 53 41 and part of their run all the way to the district final. You see the uh, starting lineup tonight Kellen Wrestler, Andrew Williams, the guards. Caton Cruz, Trey Rubenstein will play the wings. Caleb Stoner as the uh, forward. You notice some names missing. Not only, obviously, names gone due to graduation, but Blake Wolf, the top scorer both games Napoleon had last year against Defiance. He's out injured. Zane Peckinpah injured. Blake Buer a little questionable. So the Cats here on opening night have already gone a little bit deeper into their bench, Wolfie, than they probably wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, gone from last year, you know, you got uh, several key players, graduated five five of their guys, Josh Mack and uh, Tanner Rubenstein, to, to name the top two. So it's always tough to reload, you know, when you lose those key players and a lot of experience off that team, and you're reloading for this year, and then you come in and a couple of your top guys are injured right off the bat. So uh, tough defiance team, tough matchup to go against, a little bit shorthanded, but Napoleon, uh, usually hard-nosed kids, so they'll come out and they'll probably scrap, play good defense and hustle, and hopefully they can hang around. Uh, Napoleon was scheduled to begin the season on Friday night against Patrick Henry, but that game uh, postponed. Patrick Henry uh, getting into the football playoffs, didn't want to quite start yet, so uh, bought a little bit more time. That game, by the way, will be made up on December the 6th. So Cruz top uh, scorer who we're going to see tonight 10.6 points five and a half rebounds a year ago all right let's talk about the uh, defiance bulldogs quite the opposite from uh, napoleon boy they've got just about everything back from a team that went 15 and 7 a year ago and they want to get that little taste the bad taste in their mouths out from losing to napoleon probably a little bit sooner in the tournament than they would have liked to a year ago Absolutely. So Defiance Bulldogs averaged 50 points a game last year, and they only lost 4.7 points of those uh, off last year's squad, Randy. So uh, a lot of big names coming back. Obviously, uh, we're excited to see Caden Zacharich, the big 6'6 forward, averaging 15 points and four rebounds last year. And uh, the 6'1 guard, Brayden Shaw, 13.2 points a game and 3.6 rebounds. But they actually have all five of their starters back from last season and some new contributors as well. So it's going to be a tough battle for the Wildcats. Uh, they're going to have to scrap, and uh, we're excited to see what these Bulldogs can do here as they open the campaign tonight. Yeah, Caden Zacharich, honorable mention, all Ohio. 
the top player. Uh, understand you know a little bit about his dad. I do know. I played with his daddy across town over at uh, Defiance College. So he's he's on the bench tonight and uh, should be proud of proud of his son. Uh, did some great things last year. I'm sure he's excited to kick off his uh, senior campaign and build on what he came off of last year. Should let uh, everyone know, Jeremy, not just some schlub we got off the street. <laughs> Pretty solid player under a Hall of Fame coach at Swanton High School for uh, Coach Bob Fisher, who I'm sure every practice was easy. Absolutely. And then played on the other end of town here at Defiance College. So great to have Wolfie tonight. We're just about ready to go here in Defiance. Those of you new to these teams, Defiance in the white with the blue numerals. Napoleon with a script Napoleon across the top, that navy blue and white. Jump ball in the air is controlled by Defiance as Jimenez inside in the early bucket for the Bulldogs. Right to the basket, and it's amazing how many times off the opening tip, a uh, team that gains possession is able to go right in and score. It's 2 nothing early on. Dribble handoff comes Andrew Williams. Let's see just how deep this Napoleon team will go. We talked about just banged up already, haven't played a game. Williams almost lost that one, good entry pass. Through a double team, oh. shot's going to be up no good, but we will see Caden Cruz... Head to the free throw line. Good strong move down in the post, uh, Randy. You know, fumbled the entry pass a little bit, was able to regain control, goes up strong, and uh, to shoot two free throws. It's Cruz at the line, first toss, nothing but net. Went to your shooting camp over the summer. <laughs> Beef, balance, elbow, eyes, and follow through. We'll make them all. Second one hits the heel of the iron, no good. Offensive rebound. Do have the tie up, jump ball will stay with uh, Napoleon. That is one of the question marks about yeah. Defiance. Talk about the size they have, the experience they have. This is a team that was out-rebounded a year ago. Yeah, Coach Lehman talked about that. One of our biggest weaknesses, he said, we've got to rebound the basketball better to be effective. So Napoleon gets it in top of the key. Nice move inside. Travel's going to be called. Get away with that in the NBA, but Cruz is going to be called with the steps. This meeting, by the way, the 172nd all time. As we said, the two met twice last year. Defiance won the regular season meeting 58 50. They had to come back and get a win. Defi or, uh, Napoleon, excuse me, took the tournament game, as we said, in the uh, sectional final in Paulding. Series 99 72 in favor of the Bulldogs. Zachrich stepping out. Saw him hit some threes the end of the year last year, getting into the paint. But turnaround, he'll lose the handle. Oh. And say it's going to stay with the Bulldogs. The Napoleon players, at least one of them in Cruz, began to walk to the other end of the floor. Inbound into the corner. Shaw. Shaw go baseline, lays oh, it up and nice in. Nice strong move. The guard penetrating and taking a strong to the basket. 4 1 here early on. Shaw might have heard. Off to play baseball at Akron. Yeah, these defiance, they always just pump out these baseball players, don't they? He's a pitcher of all things. Shocker. Oh, wow. Right? I yeah. know. And now foul called. The old reach around. Yeah, that, that's a tough call on Zacherts there. You know, you're just trying to play good post defense and kind of a little ticky-tack foul. It's his first. First of the night here. 6.35 to go opening quarter. Cruz, good spin. Shot's going to be partially deflected. Cats will get it back, though. There's Williams in the lane, oh. lays it up and in. A little helter-skelter there, but uh, Napoleon able, able to recover the loose ball and get a basket. 4-3. Zacharich, he'll have his pass uh -oh. taken Lisa away. Is he going to dunk, Randy? Oh! oh! Two-handed slam dunk. Whoa, Impressive. Was that Caleb Stoner? Caleb Stoner. Man, he rose up and threw that thing down. Napoleon fans in abundance here. The short trip. Down 24. It's a three ball on the other end. Shaw, it's no good. This one tipped up. Zacharich with a rebound. He'll face up the basket and gets the friendly bouncing in. Nice, nice kind roll on that one. Puts the Bulldogs back up. Not quite uh, Maui Invitational soft. Recorded as the softest rims in the world. So work on the baseline. Nice kick out. And a bucket for the Wildcats. Napoleon working the ball on offense. Getting some good looks. Knocking down some shots. Still impressed with that dunk. 
Stoner now with four. We're going to seesaw this lead. Off a of screener, Shaw gets the kick out. Three ball from the corner is good. You love to see that. You love to see your guard penetrate, kick it to the corner, wide open shooter, steps into it, and buries the three. David Jimenez with five. Puts the dogs back in front. Bowling's being methodical with their offense, working it, moving it past. Oh, what's the call? And one. That's right. And one. Andrew Williams, a nice kiss off the glass. There it is. Poked it away. Couple dribbles. Two foot up. Boom. Two-handed tomahawk. That's an impressive high school dunk right there, Randy. Williams will finish off the three-point play, so he's got five now. Puts Napoleon back in front, 10-9. Wow, look at this. The, the, the Wildcats down a couple players and uh, coming out of the gate quick. I don't know the extent of some of the injuries. Wolves happened at the end of football season. Missed some games there as well. They're projected to be one of their top players. Right now, Cruz filling in that role. Picks up his dribble, needs a little help. Calls for it back at the wing. Trying to dump it down inside to Stoner. Stoner and Zacharich, chest to chest, just manned up here. I like Napoleon's ball movement, Randy. They're moving the ball around. They're getting good looks. Three from the corner. This is Wrestler. That's up no good. Skying for the rebound. Tyler Frederick. Frederick, top of the key. They'll swing it around. Now Shaw with it. See Isaac Schlotter checking in. And we'll get a whistle, and I believe we'll have a foul called inside. Yeah, looks like uh, it's going to be on number two, Wrestler. Strong move by Zacherts in the post. Nice entry pass in, a couple dribbles, trying to make a move to the basket, and the guard just found hanging on his arm there. First fouled whistled against the Wildcats here. Comes 346 and counting to go. Opening quarters. In whoa, the whoa. Ball. That was a dangerous play. Williams, a little contact at that sideline. We take a look at the replay here. Yeah, nice poke away on the steal, going after it. Collides with uh, Defiance. Is that number 12, uh, Lopez? Antonio Lopez is trying to reach in to get the ball back. Man, Napoleon scrappy on defense. There's another turnover. <laughs> wow, they need, they need a timeout. Defiance needs a timeout, Randy. Cruz protecting the basketball. Goes up with the left hand. Defiance is denying the wings. They're pressuring the ball out front. They're getting a lot of deflections, a lot of tips. That's what you got to do when you're down a couple of your key guys. You got to play tough defense. Anybody can play hard defense and hustle and go after the ball, no matter what your skill talent is. It's like a little 2-3 zone out of the Cats here. Turnaround jumper in the lane is going to be good. Yep. Out of Shaw. And we'll have a quick timeout here. So 12-11, 304 to go. Opening quarter. You thought so far, Wolfie? Well, I'm, I'm impressed how Napoleon's come out. I mean, we talked about it in the pregame, you know, down a, down uh, their leading scorer, Wolf, a couple other injuries, and they're just coming out. They're playing hard defense. They're getting a lot of tips, uh, a couple deflections. They're taking it hard to the basket. They're being deliberate with their offense. A lot of passes. They're taking good looks. So Defiance is going to have to uh, play – Take this team for real. You know, they're here to play. So it's a little shorthanded, as we've mentioned. You're probably not worried about it now. It's the opener. Everyone's going to be fresh. But as we get a little bit deeper into the night, do you get a little concerned? Yeah, because, you know, Napoleon came out for warm-ups. With, I think it looked like they only had about six guys. I mean, there's several players that were playing both JV and varsity. So, you know, the kids are young, though. Uh, you know, it's uh, I'm not as worried about it in this first game. Hopefully they're fresh, they're excited, they're riding that uh, adrenaline a little bit. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, def definitely Defiance is a lot deeper. Travel's going to be called on the uh, stutter steps. So the ball go back over to Defiance here, under three to go in. It's been a very entertaining opening quarter from Defiance High School. Trying to get it inside. Zacharich free on the baseline. Oh. Can't get it off the window. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Officials say it's going to belong to the Wildcats. 
Yeah, good, good, strong move underneath. Just couldn't, couldn't finish it. Had it right where he wanted it. That's the kind of shot they want. And Baseball pass, three-quarter court length is knocked away. Trying to get inside again is Shaw. He'll, or he will draw the foul. Excuse me. Good strong move to the basket, forcing the action. Pulley foul whistled on Caleb Stoner. It's going to be his first with the uh, shortened bench. See if foul trouble plays into this one as a first toss. No good out of Shaw already with four points tonight. So everyone had a big rivalry game this afternoon. Now rivalry game tonight, cats and dogs. man sitting to my right has done nothing but smile since he what, walked in. Wasn't going to say anything about it, but there's a lot of amazing <laughs> blue tonight and uh, defiance. What do we call it? What do we decide we're going to call it? The dog pound? That was the old place, That right? was the old Zachrich. Yeah. And notice this Zachrich plays a little bit more defense than the uh, elder Zachrich on the you. bench. Yeah. Now we'll get a whistle. And it's again that helter skelter ball. Yeah. It's causing some trouble for Defiance. For sure. Napoleon's scrappy. Um, ball seems like it's loose a lot, and Napoleon's coming up with a lot of the loose balls. So Antonio Lopez guilty of the foul for the Bulldogs. His first. I have that as the team second. Let's see if that's accurate. Actually, yeah. all the travel. Napoleon turn it right back over. As you can tell it's opening night. There's been a little sloppiness. A little bit of sloppiness, you know. And I remember back to my, you know, I played. It, it was just uh, those first couple games. You're just trying to work out the kinks. You're trying to get basket back in basketball shape. You know, if kids are playing other sports or whatever, and uh, trying to build that chemistry, get the flow of the offense, and. It takes a little bit to get it going. Zacharich, he'll take the wing three. That one a little Ooh. too strong. I know you, everyone has a couple of scrimmages, but you're probably just happy just to be seeing someone other than your teammates. Absolutely. Playing someone yeah, else for the first sure. time. You, you know, want... the, thing, the thing is, I always hated the scrimmages. You know, you're just uh, you're out there. It's usually there's not very many people there watching. Your coaches always want to utilize the time the best, playing six, seven quarters and uh, – you know, you're just you're just glad to, to hear the band playing and get the real uniforms on and the and the warm ups and get out there with a full crowd and get the heart pumping a little bit and uh, yeah. So, but it but it takes a little bit. Even watching some of these college games, you know, some of these teams have just been off to a slow start. It takes a little bit of time to get that chemistry and that rhythm going. You know, not a slow start here. 12-12. You saw the three point ball, deflected rebound out of bounds. So defiance with it. Jimenez, he'll take the three and knocks it down. It's his second triple tonight. He's already got eight. Stepped right into that and buried it. Nothing but net. Defiance of the 15-12 lead. Wrestler walks the ball into the front court. It's that high post pass. And another whistle inside. Napoleon has utilized Caden Cruz. And now Tyler Frederick guilty of a foul, his first. Yeah, Cruz is a pretty active player. He's he's banging around in there. Called for a, the basketball there, didn't get it. Is he a football guy? I want to say yes. Trying to bank in a three <laughs> was Trey Rubenstein. That's no good. Rebound heads out of bounds. Defines to get it back under a minute to go in our opening quarter. Let me just say, nobody's ever tried to bank in a three. <laughs> <laughs> no, when they bank it in, they always act like they tried to bank it in. But nobody has ever tried to bank in a three-pointer. I can guarantee you that. You don't want to use that backboard for no, its intended purpose? No, not from out there. Zachary's thought about baseline. Instead, he'll get rid of the basketball. Jimenez, he's got the hot hand oh. going for his third. That one off the iron, no good. Nice job getting the rebound. Saving that is Andrew Williams of Napoleon. Williams gets it back. Could see Napoleon play for the final shot of the quarter. And I'll tell you, Randy, Napoleon's getting those 50-50 balls. They are they are on the floor, scrapping, getting after it. That's what they're going to have to do to stay in this game, you know. Shortening this game up, that's for sure. They're doing it right now. Williams inside. 
There's Stoner off two defenders. Couldn't oh. get it. Zacharich is going to get as far as he can. Let's fly from half court. Off the backboard, no good. And that's how the opening quarter will end. An entertaining one so far. 15-12, Bulldogs after one. We'll take a break here on WOSF. 15-12, our score after one quarter of play that finds Bulldogs leading the Napoleon Wildcats. A pretty uh, entertaining eight minutes there, Wolfie. Absolutely. That was a great first quarter. Uh, both teams came out, played well, did a good job. Um, and, you know, I'm curious. I don't know if you're keeping the rebounding stats. But I'm, I'm not. Kind of, okay, that's all right. I'm just kind of curious because we know Coach Lehman had said, hey, we have to uh, rebound the basketball better this season than we did last year. This is one of our potential weaknesses. And it seems like Napoleon's pretty aggressive, getting after a lot of loose balls. And uh, so that's what they're going to have to do to hang around in this game. I do want to let it be known that uh, my normal partner, Miles Holiday, likes to call me the mayor of Northwest Ohio because it seems like everywhere we go, there's someone that knows me. I believe I have been one up by Jeremy Wolf because <laughs> every single person – that has walked by where we are a perch on the upper deck at Defiance seems to know you. Well, you know, I spent a lot of, a lot of time in Defiance over across town at D.C. So, yeah, a lot, lot of uh, friendly people here. I love this community. It's, it's a great place to, to live and work and go to school, and I love Defiance. Bulldogs with the basketball as Napoleon will throw it away inside Zachridge. That would partially deflect it. So the All-Ohio in the limited to two points yeah. in that opening quarter. M has missed two shots right in near the basket. Um, I'm sure he's not going to be happy about that, and I'm sure his dad's going to give him an earful uh, at halftime. See Napoleon being a little bit patient. One knocked away. That one's going to be saved. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Stoner will track that down from going across the timeline. I'm sorry, Cruz. Cruz goes all the way to the baseline. He's going to be ridden on the hip, and we'll get a whistle. And foul is going to be coming against Schlachter. Now, I know we're up here high, but 22 Cruz, it's, it looks at 6'5". Does he look that big to you? No, he does not. <laughs> Oftentimes, those coaches, they, uh, they, pad the they pad the roster a little bit. They give you an inch or two. Nice player, though. Nice finger roll. Yeah, nice little give and go inside as Cruz will score. So he's got five now. Cuts that lead to one. And you needed all that being all six foot six for yeah. uh, Mr. Wolf. I got an extra half inch. The program always says six, six and a half. So the entry pass inside will get a foul called. One is going to go against Napoleon. So a lot of people picking up their first foul. It's Trey Rubenstein with one now. Third one whistled against the Cats. Oh, that's an erratic pass. Wraparound pass in the baseline thrown about five rows Yeah, deep. luckily for uh, Defiance, a Napoleon player tipped it. Look alive in row five. <laughs> Luckily, the cheerleaders had their heads on a swivel. Yeah. Nothing worse, like when someone's back's turned, they don't see it. Cutter inside. Oh. Shaw doesn't get it to go. A little contact. Man. No call. No call. Step up, left open for three. It's Rubenstein. Can't get it to fall. Defiance to get it back. Offense has slowed down here so far. Two minutes into quarter number two. Yeah, shooting. Buckets are tough to come by. Hesitation move. Aiden Kiesling. There's one out of bounds. It looks like we will see Kellen Ressler checking back into the lineup for Napoleon. It looks like Jacob Shadle will check back or come in. Shadle, one of those guys that uh, Jeremy mentioned. Uh, Combo JV varsity guy. They're going to count on a few of those here, at least through the early part of the season, until Cats get a little bit closer to full strength. Well, you know, with 5:45 to go in the second quarter, you're only down one. Now is the time, you know, to get uh, some of those guys in, uh, get your starters a little bit of rest. I mean, you're you're right in this thing. You got to find somewhere to get those guys a little a, a little breather. So now is the time to do it, and you just hope that uh, you can keep it kind of where it's at right now and get your starters rested up and get them back on the floor close out the half 
It's Andrew Williams guilty of a little bump foul. Forced to find the inbound. As we get near the five and a half minute mark of our opening half, Zacharich with the entry pass, the kick out. Shaw, long distance three, can't get it in. Rebound's tipped up, and Napoleon will get it. Nice rebound. Another one and done out of defiance. Trey Rubenstein skied for that board. Wrestler tried to get a screen. Instead, he'll have to get back behind him. Here's Williams. Now the entry pass goes to low block left side. And now we'll get a tie-up. Oh, quick whistle on the tie-up there, Randy. Thought at first Schlatter was going to be called for the yeah, foul when I that did. whistle I did was too. blown. I did, too. That uh, that was a quick uh, quick jump ball call. Arrow will stay with Napoleon. So they'll use the opportunity to make another change. One thrown out. Top of the key back to Williams. Oh, Williams yeah, offensive. And Yep, offensive. Yeah. Nice play. We'll take a look at the replay here, Wolfie. Yeah, Frederick, uh, he got in position, moving his feet, playing good defense. He takes, exhorts the contact, and, uh, yeah, that's a great call by the official right there. It's Andrew Williams, the first player to pick up two fouls. He'll sit down here with 5.03 to go opening half. It's a lost start, but the jump stop. The jump stop avoids those charges. If you got a guy like that set up, just jump stop, takes the shot, or take the shot, take the pass. Shaw, his uh, drive is going to be blocked from behind. Stoner able to knock that out of play. Napoleon is defending well around the basket, Randy. A lot of blocks, a lot of easy misses from Defiance. Shots are being contested, hand in the face. We've seen... A couple missed shots inside from Zacharich. Uh, Shaw's got his shot blocked a couple times. They're defending around the rim very well. Defiance, first inbound pass kicked. There's another Shunk one. Again, that one yeah. deflected. Long rebound gets deflected out. Since that was touched yeah. by Napoleon, Defiance able to run back into the backcourt and get it. But once again, Shaw gets to the rim and can't finish because of the Napoleon defense. Ball goes into the corner. Now Shaw with it again. Now Defiance will have to reset the offense. As we see Javin Saldana in. A little baseline jump shot from about eight feet. Nice smooth stroke. Puts the Bulldogs up by three. It's been about their biggest lead. Ended, the opening quarter ended at three, 15-12. Oh, missed a wide open cutter on the baseline there. The one from the wing is no good. Nice rebound in traffic that time out of Frederick. Yeah, that's probably the first bad shot I've seen Napoleon take. A little rushed, wasn't really in the flow of the offense. Probably three or four feet beyond the arc and didn't go down. Good behind the back pass, kick out to the wing for three is no good out of Frederick. Napoleon able to come down with a rebound. Here is Wrestler. Races into the front court and holds up. Oh, crossover move gets in the lane. Can he get the floater to go? Oh, yeah, nice but he gets a little in. help. Little nice tip in there. Caden Cruz, that guy's active, man. He's an active player. You got to get a body on him when the shot goes up. He's he's going to the board every time. Cruz now with seven. Cuts that lead to one. Three ball the other end. That went off the iron. No good. Schlatter can't get it to fall. Wrestler now being oh. tracked down. Two defenders. He'll have the ball taken away. Frederick oh. with a little right hand move. Nice steal on the backboard there with the finish. And Napoleon racing to the other end. Passes tip. Cats get it back. Here's the entry pass. Now the double. Ball's loose on the floor. It's going to be taken away by Defiance. Shaw trying to weave around the defenders. Off the oh. window, rolls it in. Get a timeout, Napoleon. Yep, there it is. Napoleon will do just that. We'll take a look, a couple of replays here. This is the last one. Yeah, steal in the backcourt, just p being pesky with the, with, uh, with the point guard, trying to bring it up, get a nice quick basket there. Everyone's still in there. Oh, there's one happy young man yeah. in the middle of the student section. Shaw finishing off a good play. And 
will see the steal here, I do believe. This is the tip in. Oh, oh that's no, the, there's that's the, the offensive, sorry. offensive foul. Yep. Good play by Frederick. Defense, uh, Defiance has picked up the defense a little bit here. Here's your tip in. There's the tip. Big fella rising up, tipping it in. Reminds me of myself back in the old days there, Randy, playing above the rim. <laughs> Being all of five foot nine, I have to admit I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I dream about it every night. Yeah. But you need the little guys that can get you the ball. That's right. So 21 16 here, 214 left to go before halftime. Weren't quite sure what we were gonna see. Knew about Napoleon, some of the guys out. We kind of thought maybe Defiance would take control of this one early and kind of dominate. Yeah. Nothing against Napoleon, nothing nope. against the bench nope. guys, just when you yeah. When you hear three starters out, you have a certain thing that goes through yeah. your mind. And Coach Coach Bosselman has to be happy with where he's at right now, approaching two minutes left to go in the first half. There's a play inside, yeah. and Zachrich is going to pick up his second foul, trying to plead his case the official that he was just standing there. Yeah, it never flies when you're the big guy, man. Anytime the guard penetrates and falls on the floor, no matter whether you're in position or not, they always call you for the foul. So here is Parker Woods at the free throw line. This is the first. Officials deeming he was in the act of shooting as well. Yeah. I've pleaded my case to a lot of officials on very similar plays. It never went my way either. Woods able to split the free throws. His last two minutes are key, Randy, Bo both directions here. Napoleon would love to keep this, uh, you know, a four or five point game, and Defiance would like to stretch it out a little bit going into half if they could. Have an opportunity here uh, with Zacherts going to line for two. Spin in the lane, it's caught him on the arm, and that's someone. It is Trey Rubenstein, and now picks up his second foul. So Rubenstein and Williams now with two, so it might see. Uh, the uh, foul trouble beginning to play a part. Yeah, that's that's the one thing you can't do if you're Napoleon right here. Uh, short bench, you can't get in foul trouble. Um, they're going to have to sub in here. Minute 57 to go, down six now. You just don't want to. You don't want to let this get any farther than it is right now. Zachary able to get both free throws. It's four points for him tonight. Pretty good opening night crowd here for these uh, rivals. Short trip for Napoleon to come here to Defiance. Pass in midcourt, tipped away. Here's Jimenez. Oh. And now they're going to say the, the yeah, wrestler get the reach of the ball, touch the baseline. Yeah, I think wrestler's going to be whistled foul. foul. That's going to be wrestler second as well. Yeah. We'll take a look here. Pass top of the key, kind of telegraphed. Well, Defiance has definitely picked up the uh, defensive intensity here the last few minutes, but Napoleon's also making some uh, iffy passes. Guys are getting in passing lanes, and they're just they're they're turning the ball over a little bit too much here. Front end of the one and one miss, but the offensive rebound a rare offensive rebound tonight. Either team. Get you it know, back to the Bulldogs going inside Shaw. Here's the kick out. Schlatter going left-handed, oh. doesn't get it to go. It'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, More Napoleon's. They got. They got to. They got to play better defense without fouling. Uh, we got another guy now with two two fouls. Free throw number one. Schlatter is good. It's his first point of the night. Extends that lead about the biggest it's been tonight. Second one is missed. Rebound is poked away. Officials are going to, thought they were going to confer, but it looks like they'll just make a call that it will be Napoleon Ball. Still seven. Plenty of time for Napoleon. Get a bucket here. Going to get back into this one. Antonio Lopez thought he had a clean poke away, but instead... He's going to be whistled for the foul. Playing the bonus. Looks like he's going to be shooting. I believe that is the one and one. Uh, 
Javin Saldana guilty of the foul. As the first free throw from Wrestler is good to get him into the scoring column tonight. Second one rims out. Important defensive possession here for Napoleon Randy. They got to get a stop. Defiance may play this out here with a minute to go in the half. Looks like still a little bit of zone out of Napoleon. Good turnaround open. Mid range jumper. Slaughter no good. Second effort, no good. And that time, rebound grabbed by Caden Cruz. Out to Wrestler. We know Coach Bosselman wants to play up-tempo, but if I'm him here, I'm playing for the last shot. Back out of it. That looks like exactly what they're going to do. Clock rolls under 30 seconds to go in the half. Now a oh. hand check, and it's going to lead to a one and one. Yeah. Zachridge back in. Frederick, who committed the foul, goes out. Frederick second. Front end of the one and uh, one. No good. Zacharich with a rebound. A big opportunity there missed by Napoleon. Yeah. You knock those in. You cut it to four. Instead, you're going to give Defiance yeah. opportunity here. Could go to, could go to what, eight? Let's pass over the top. Three ball. No good. Stoner will get it. It's not going to count. It's going to be way short anyways. And that's how our first half will end. Entertaining a Opener so far, 24-18, defiance of the lead of the break. We'll take one as well. Watching high school basketball live on WOSN. Halftime here from a defiance, 24-18. You see the Bulldogs with the lead over the Napoleon Wildcats. You heard his voice for half. Now you get to see his face. Jeremy Wolf back uh, here. Everyone knows me. I'm Randy Roberts. It, we'll, we'll put our names on there just to make sure. Wolfie, uh, pretty entertaining first half. Like we said a couple of times, in that opening half, we knew Napoleon was shorthanded. Didn't know how they were going to respond. We've uh, kind of learned here, and they've found themselves a couple pretty good basketball players, Kane Cruz, Caleb Stoner, in that opening half. Yeah, it was an exciting first half. I think uh, Coach Bosselman for the Wildcats has to be happy with his team's effort in the first half. You know, they're down six, but they uh, they came out. They played a scrappy uh, defense the first half. They got a lot of rebounds, a lot of loose balls, so they're hanging around. Um and it was a fun game, fun game to watch for the first half. Hopefully they can come out in the second half and continue to compete. Their bench is a little short, we know that, so hopefully they can stay out of foul, foul trouble in this second half while maintaining their aggressiveness. And you mentioned the foul trouble. We see uh, Kellen Ressler, Andrew Williams, Trey Rubenstein, two fouls each in that opening half. Now this isn't normally if you've got enough guys, you go, hey, boys, you get five. Right. But uh, you got to be, are, are you a little concerned about that? I, I'm not overly concerned. You know, they did a good job. Nobody picked up their third foul. That's always the concern. You don't want anybody to pick up a, a ticky tack right before the half. So just come out second half, uh, full steam ahead, play aggressive, see what happens. Uh, you don't want to lay back. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not overly concerned. Two fouls is not a big deal. They just have to be a little more careful and not pick up anything ticky tack. Now for Defiance, Brayden Shaw got him off to a pretty good start. A couple of buckets early. David Jimin has a couple of three-pointers. But as you mentioned a couple of times, it's just, it, getting inside, and you would think that would be one place where Defiance would have an advantage, and it just hasn't really gone uh, Defiance's way. Yeah, they've definitely missed a couple of shots really close to the basket uh, from a couple of their big guys. They've missed a couple uh, drive, driving to the basket shots that were, you know, definitely makeable. You know, you're talking about a six-point game right now. A few of those go down. It could be, you know, 12, 14 points. So if you're defiant, you got to keep doing what you did in the first half. So hopefully some of those shots go down. And then you got to be a little more aggressive on the uh, both the offensive rebounds and also the 50-50 balls. Those seem like they were going uh, Napoleon's way quite often. And you just got to dive on the floor and try to get some of those and maintain possession or get a steal of possession away. So... 
we'll see how it goes in the second half. I think, uh, you know, both teams like where they're at, and you know, we'll see what, what uh, they can, how they close this thing out. So you see 24-18, our lead defiance uh, over Napoleon at the half. Don't forget, uh, following us, I do believe it's at 10 o'clock tonight, some playoff football from uh, earlier today as uh, – I know Columbus Grove, Marion Local playing in a, a D6 state semifinal. Lima Central Catholic, New Bremen in a, a D7 state semifinal. So more playoff football coming your way uh, later tonight here on a WOSN. We saw uh, Liberty Center season come to an end. I was there for WOSN. Turns out my partner, Chair, there uh, just for fun. I was sitting there freezing in the stands <laughs> with the rest of the. You know, with the rest Let, of the yesterday, folk. yesterday wasn't as bad as the, the uh, previous week. Yeah. A little bit of snow. I stayed home. Had fallen down. Oh, fair weather <laughs> fan. I am definitely a fair weather fan. Defiance turnaround jumper is going to be uh, no good out of Zachrich as we begin our second half. It'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments the coaches made at halftime. Um, you know, obviously. They're taking a look at what worked, what didn't. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know what kind of uh, pressure, full court press or anything like that. Defiance is typically used to, but um, they did have cause some problems for Napoleon in the backcourt when they pressured the ball a little bit. They may have a little bit of fatigue in the second half, so I'll be curious to see if Defiance does any kind of uh, at least uh, token uh, full court, three-quarter court pressure as, as the second half progresses. Trey Rubenstein with a bucket for Napoleon now 24-20 minute gone by here in our third quarter Zachary's trying to go inside he's gonna have the ball oh, taken away and on contact a foul and that may prove to be problematic for the Bulldogs that's gonna be the seniors third he will sit down we take a look at the replay here yeah he's he's gonna have to go to the bench probably for most of the third quarter Randy honestly and that's an advantage, to Napoleon, because uh, you know Zacherts is six foot six. He's a big presence inside, and you know he's going to be he's going to be sitting next to uh, Coach there for a while. And Defiance is uh, significantly smaller on the floor without him in the lineup. See, uh, Napoleon talked about defense. Cats a lot of two three zone in that opening half. Defiance mainly man to man. There's ball yeah. out of bounds. Wrestler trying to get a little creative with the dribbling. I'm not overly impressed with the ball handling of Napoleon, and uh, well, I'm curious to see if Defiance at any point is going to put a little more pressure on the ball in the backcourt. I mean, that was just an, a, an unforced error that we just saw right there. It's the entry pass inside, knocked away, so Defiance will turn it over. Williams with a left-handed layup puts it up ah, and in. I thought we might see another dunk. Williams is only six foot, though. That would have been impressive if he rose up and threw that down. It's the old Skywalker to come up and get that one. So Williams was seven. Lita shrunk to two. Napoleon's out of the gate quick. And again, we'll see Defiance, what they do without their big guy. Be more uh, oriented around the outside. Well, you got four guys outside the three-point arc right now. Just kind of moving the ball around. Appear to be looking for three-point shots. Slaughter with the entry, comes back out Shaw. Shaw's got two defenders everywhere he goes. Trying to extend again that 2-3 zone out of Napoleon. Corner goes with Kiesling. His pass comes over the top. Shaw momentarily thought about the three, then thought better of it. 2-3 zone, a little bit easier to play with Zachary out of the game. One of the deficiencies when you're playing a zone is not knowing who to box out. And sometimes you get beat on the offensive boards. So we'll see how that plays out. So David Jimenez gets a little home cooking there off the top of the uh, backboard, knocks it in. Defiance wants to talk about a couple of things. So they are going to use a timeout. Quick timeout. Now Coach Lehman known for that. He, he wants to set some things up. After the bucket, gets the stop. It's a 26-22 here, 5-10 left to go in our third quarter kind of the uh I'm, I'm kind of the school of phil jackson i don't know if you remember randy he never called the timeout he always wanted to just shout out to his players and tell them what to do to me i want to keep my timeouts for the end of the game especially if it's a close game you mm -hmm. never know when you need them i mean you know five ten to go in the third quarter you know i don't know what you're talking about that you didn't just talk about 
three minutes ago when you were in the locker room, but, you know, some coaches like to do that. And you see Defiance just three remaining, Napoleon with four. So as you said, if this game gets tight down to the end, might want to wish you had one or two of those left. It'll be interesting to see how long Coach Lehman keeps Zachert on the bench. Um, you know, coaches will do different things when you pick up, pick up that third. Sometimes they'll they'll sit you for the full, full third quarter, depending on the flow of the game. If they feel like they need him, they might bring him back and, and uh, take a chance. So we'll see. So after the timeout, Napoleon back with basketball. Here's Williams going into the corner. This pass thrown away into the backcourt, oh. and we'll get it over and back. But maybe it had been deflected. Yeah, me too. By defiance, but. Well, if it if it was, they were going to call him for a travel because he just picked the ball up and took off running. Um, you oh, know? you have to dribble it? I didn't realize that was part of yeah, the Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, at least okay. you want to try to sell to the ref. Like, hey, it was tipped. I'm just, I'm just recovering the ball in the backcourt. And on top of it, Williams then commits a foul. That's going to be his third. Apparently, Defiance is not press because uh, Napoleon's struggling with the ball right now a little bit, Randy. Williams will have to sit down. Here's the high post pass. Tyler Frederick, turnaround three. Up and good. They get the kick out to Kiesling. Knocks down his first bucket of the night. That's a big shot. After cutting the lead to two, they've now stretched it to seven, which I think is probably their biggest lead of the game so far. Napoleon trying to find something here to begin this third quarter. Here's one poked away. Kiesling thought he had a clean steal. Instead, officials disagree. He's going to pick up his second foul. The whistles have definitely interrupted the flow of play a little bit tonight. And I'm always a fan of less whistles are better. Nobody's here to see the officials, Randy. Not one person. Jumper from the free throw line wrestler is no good. Does get it back. Tries to scoop with a little bit of contact. No call. Doesn't get it to go. Schlatter with the rebound. Schlatter brings the ball into the front court. Shaw might have gotten away with a travel. Never really had control of the basketball. Dribbles through the lane. Oh. And we'll get a carry. So we'll... Yeah, see, I, I didn't see that. Did you? Uh, let's take a look at the replay here. Uh, I mean, you know, eh, questionable. I mean, that's something you could let go. I mean, uh, but again, it just disrupts the, the flow of the game when you're you're calling everything you see. I, I don't know. Would you have called that? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Any rate, does go as a turnover. Oh. But that manly move inside. Cruz is going to bang around until he gets the bucket. He's, he's tough, tough to handle. I don't know if he's 6'5", but he's he's uh, he's built strong. He plays aggressive. He's a guy you'd want on your team, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Cuts that lead to five. A little trouble inside. That move on the baseline, getting the bucket. It's Khalil Legon stepping up. Defiance having to go a little bit deeper into their bench. Zachary sitting down in the foul trouble. Uh. Three-pointer that I think my partner believes was a little ill-advised. <laughs> Quarter three in the other end from oh. Shaw rims out. No whistle. And no whistle. Play on. He thought wrestler might have been called for a travel. Oh, going all the way around. He After... Coach Lehman on the bench, he, he doesn't know what to do. They must have heard me, Randy, when I said less whistles are better because that sequence oh. there, you could have called about four different things and they didn't call any of them. Coach Lehman a little upset. He'll calmly find a reserve, send out on the floor. <laughs> and now we do oh. get one. Bodies hitting the floor on the baseline drive. What's the call, though? Okay. See, Cruz gets his defender in the air. We'll take a look at the replay. And he's got two yeah, guys. He got uh, saw Frederick crash in. He's the one that's going to be guilty of the foul. He, he got hammered, and he just casually walked away, and the two Defiance bodies were on the floor. 
First free throw, no good. Frederick will have to sit down now with uh, three fouls. Looks like Jimenez out as well. I'm wrong. No, that's Kiesling. It's still out with two. So Kiesling with two fouls comes in. Missed them both. And tough break for Napoleon. Another thing you can do, get back into this one, make uh, score some points with the clock stops. The intensity on the floor definitely ratcheting it up here in the second half. Three ball, a little roll in. The Schlatter knocks down his first field goal of the night. Good time out there by Coach Bossel, man. Uh, Ten points. Get the fellas over there and get them calmed down a little bit. 34-24, we'll take a break here at WOSN. 34-24, our score here in Defiance Host Bulldogs. With the lead over the Napoleon Wildcats. Jeremy, you kind of said it a couple of times. You kind of wondered it was on the brink. Key point in the game right here. Uh, You know, Coach Bosselman and the Wildcats call a timeout with 151 to go in the third. They're down 10. Uh, You kind of got to draw a line in the sand right here, Randy. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can't can't let it stretch much beyond 10 points. They got to come down, have a good possession, try to get a bucket, and go down and play defense. A lot of times when you get to about the 10-point deficit, that's when things can get ugly real quick. If you take a bad a bad shot, Defiance gets a rebound, comes down, buries a three, it gets to 13, then you really start to feel the pressure. So key possession right here for the Wildcats. And let's also remember Defiance doing this with their best offensive threat, sitting on the bench in foul trouble. Yeah, absolutely. You keep him out the full third quarter now with uh, this kind of lead. Don't risk him getting that fourth foul. There's a travel. Parker Woods, the guilty uh, party. Turnover is exactly what you did not want in that situation coming out of a timeout down 10. There's a little pressure from Napoleon in the backcourt. Trying a little three-quarter court. Ball's going to be poked away. It'll stay defiance ball. Caden Cruz knocked that one away. Check that. It was a stoner. Defiance happy to run as much of this final 90 seconds of the third quarter off as they can. Open three, just unable to go. Another strong rebound pulled down by Caden Cruz. Cruz will bring the ball into the front court himself. Now his pull up three off the mark. Rebound is then knocked away should stay with napoleon see we talked about in the first half you know napoleon's offense they were be- being very deliberate they were passing the ball they were moving it they were getting good shots and they've kind of went away from that a little bit that was kind of an ill-advised you know uh cruz brings it up and just pulls a three-pointer from the top of the key without even throwing a pass so they got to get back to what they were doing in the first half napoleon after the officials Taking a little bit of time, decides they will keep the basketball. Let's drive all the way to the baseline. Nice move. It's going to lead to a couple of free throws. It's Andrew Williams, who's playing with three fouls, goes to the line here, the 101 to go in the quarter. Javin Saldana picks up his second foul as Williams gets his second made free throw of the night. He's got eight points. Very smooth free throw stroke. Second one rims out. Slaughter comes away with a rebound. One out of four on their last free, uh, four free throws, Randy. Big opportunities missed. Try to get back into this one. About the jump stop. Nice bounce pass inside. Slaughter able to finish on the great feed from Saldana. Pushes that lead back to double digits inside the final minute of our third quarter. Napoleon a little overloaded on the one side. Three guys trying to reverse it. Defiance clamped down defensively. Williams creates a little space. Baseline jumper no good. Good job Schlatter coming away with the rebound there. Under 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Jumper left short. Napoleon with it. Don't think they'll be able to get anything off as the horn will sound. 
And that's how our third quarter will end. So Defiance able to pull away. They've turned a six-point lead into an 11-point lead. We'll see what happens when we have the fourth quarter for you live right after this. 36-25, our score defines the lead over Napoleon as we move into our fourth and final quarter here on at least uh, our opening night of high school basketball for our uh, WOSN team. Well, it's been a great night, Randy. What, first of all, what a great facility they have here at Defiance. Kudos to Defiance High School and the, and the Defiance community to uh, put together such a great basketball venue for high school. And, uh, you know, both both uh, towns have showed up tonight to support their teams, and uh, we wouldn't expect anything different out of these great communities, Napoleon and Defiance. And it's been a fun, fun game so far. Cats with the basketball as we move into quarter number four, trying to erase an 11-point deficit. The lob inside, that's going to be knocked away as Isaac Schlotter's come up pretty big here. Yeah, Do be, notice, big number 33 for Defiance back onto the floor. Back in. I'd be curious to see what how many turnovers Napoleon has. It seems like they've been turning the ball off quite a bit, especially here in the second half. Napoleon trying to put a little bit of pressure with that defense. Defiance will extend this game up 11. Slaughter with a bounce pass. Good luck from the free throw line. And able to knock it down. It's Tyler Frederick. Frederick with four. Frederick's played a solid game, Randy. He's doing some good things. Biggest lead of the night for Defiance. It's going to be one of those games people are going to see the final and go, yeah, I expect that, not knowing how close this was most of the night. Wrestler let flies at three, no good. Bring Shaw walk this one into the front court. There's one thrown away, trying to save that one. Trying to track it down was Cruz. He's actually going to let it go. It will be Napoleon Ball. Thought maybe Cruz was tracking it down because he deflected it out, but that's not the case. Yeah, no, he just wanted to get it and throw down another dunk. I think he did. <laughs> We don't have the stats right in front of us. You might remember, was was this a 24-22 game? That was 24-20. 24-20, okay. Turnaround jumper is going to be good. And Stoner with another bucket. Give him six tonight. Defiance has definitely owned the second half thus far. Now went on that run, extended it quickly to 11. Played with the lead. We'll clear out move. Zachary should keep that from going out of bounds. And his little jumper is going to be up and good. Nice strong move. A little baby jump hook. Six points out of the big guy for the Bulldogs. Back to a 13-point lead. Working the ball around the perimeter right now. There's Williams. Good drive. He'll draw the foul. We'll see him head back to the free throw line. Got the uh, defiant student section below us to our left, and they do just a great job making sure everyone stays engaged all night. Yeah. They've done nothing but make noise, which is exactly what you want a student section to do. Williams will miss the first free throw. And, and that's the great thing about high school basketball. You know, being in a full gym, the pep band's playing, the students are engaged, and uh, it's just such a great atmosphere. Uh, sometimes you lose that a little bit in football because you're outside and everybody's spread out, but you get in these gymnasiums and you can just feel that energy pumping through the building, you know. It's another empty trip to the free throw line. That's been another problem for the Cats tonight. You're going to see the missed free throws, and you're going to see the difference on the scoreboard, and the two of them might be connected. And Defiance trying to play a little keep away here, under five to go. Nice drive all the way to the basket. Is David Jimenez able to score once again? 
Jimenez now with 12. Wrestler trying to get create a little space. His jumper just won't go. Good offensive rebound. Pass is deflected. Napoleon to get it back. And the three up and good out of Caden Cruz. Cruz, 12. Randy, you had asked me earlier, is the depth going to be a problem for Napoleon? And I, and I feel like they are starting to get a little bit fatigued right now. Um, you know, it's, it's been a long night and uh, some turnover, some sloppy play, some quick shots that maybe they shouldn't take. So uh, fatigue might be setting in a little bit for the uh, shorthanded Wildcat roster. Saw the replay there about the N one out of Schlatter. Looking for point number nine. Right now, 44-30. And make it 45 as the senior able to convert the three-point play. And Napoleon, that point of the night now, 4-11 to go. You're just kind of put anyone on the floor you can who who you (laughs) think might spark you. Yeah, it would be a monumental comeback at this point. So, you know, I think that they're just trying to do what they can to do some positive things, get some players involved, and uh, build on moving forward from here. There's definitely going to be a lot to look at on film for Coach Bossman, some things that they can work on and try to get better. Moving screen, I believe the call there out of Napoleon. Trey Rubenstein has picked up foul number four. At this point, you might just leave him in. It's Coach Bossman trying to figure out something that's going to work here. It's a kicked ball. And Defiance also with that uh, chip on their shoulder we talked about in our pregame. Lost to Napoleon. Not, not only are you losing your tournament, but that's the last game that you played of the year. And now offensive foul called the other way. So... You you have the fact that you lost your rival to end the season, which also knocked you out of the tournament. That sticks with you for a while. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sure that these Defiance guys were thinking about that all summer and uh, weren't happy, I'm sure, with the end result of last season, losing in that game in in the tournament trail to Napoleon. So coming out here tonight, I'm sure still had that that bad taste in their mouth and were looking to uh, put some revenge on the Wildcats. And not only that, but then, as we talked about, Napoleon then uh, pulled a small upset in the district semi, reached a, a district final. A lot of Defiance fans and players probably thinking that uh, could have been them in the district final as well. So we see Caden Cruz in the free throw line in the bonus where he's able to hit the first free throw. And he'll get them both. It's a nice player, Randy. I think when they get some guys back, get some guys healthy, that this Napoleon team is going to, you know, they're going to win some games. Obviously, playing in the NLL, there's a lot of great teams to go up against. Perrysburg, Anthony Wayne, uh, you know, Sylvania, uh, Northview and Southview. Uh, I'm not sure what they got coming back, but I know that Perrysburg and Anthony Wayne will be solid. And you gotta you got to get healthy before that NLL uh, league game start because that's a treacherous uh, mm-hmm. road uh, going through that conference. Yeah, I believe Perrysburg, the uh, favorite in the vote by the coaches. Is this the uh, last year of the uh, normal NLL that everyone will know? Get the, uh, the bloated NLL next year? <laughs> I don't know what the correct verb would be for that, yeah. but the, the expanded NLL? Well, we're seeing all the conference realignment in uh, college, so, you know, high school, uh, the trickle-down effect. And people are trying to find where they belong, and, you know, in the Toledo area, as the populations change and people are moving to different areas, uh, some of that is necessary. Maumee and the NLL has just not been able to compete uh, because of their enrollment and being landlocked and not being able to expand. Um, you've seen that Rossford was in the NLL and left years ago. So, you know, sometimes those things need to change. Yeah, we we wish and we think you know, the mommy should uh, pay off with a move to the uh, NBC. I saw Zachary to the look under the bucket, couldn't get to go. It just rolled all the way around the cylinder. Wouldn't fall. Now Defiance starts to play keep away here with three minutes to go. 
and uh, Napoleon will be placed in the... Uh, I, I know they announced the division names, and uh, forgive me, I can't remember them, but I know it'll be the, the smaller of the two. And now Travel, it's official, is going to say that Zacharich had moved that pivot foot. So you'd be placed with a lot of schools, kind of similar size enrollment-wise. be something that uh, gets looked at, I think, every, every two years. Look inside, nothing there for Cruz, so he'll get the kick out. Yeah, as this thing winds down close to two minutes, uh, Defiance has just kind of imposed their will, Randy, on Napoleon. Kind of what we thought, you know, they got a lot of guys coming back, um, all five starters, and uh, we thought that they would, on paper, separate eventually from Napoleon. It took maybe a little bit longer than we thought, but uh, at this point they are in complete control of this ball game. Double-digit lead here nearing the two-minute mark. And how about that move to get a couple of points? Strong move to the bucket. And uh, chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. We don't see that as much as we used to. Yes. Everybody wants yeah. to hang out on the three-point line and bomb away. So I appreciate some old-school basketball, driving to the hoop, taking the body contact, making the shot, hitting the floor, and stepping up and hitting the, the free throw. And that's exactly what happens. So Braden Shaw listens to Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Gets him in a double digits tonight. Now 48-32. Whistles continue. It's the one knock on the game. This has nothing to do with the uh, gentleman in the stripes. You would have wished maybe a little bit more flow. Yeah, they've definitely, there's been a lot of whistles. Um, you know, but these guys, their first game too. So they're trying to get back and you know, the, in the off season, in their officiating meetings, they're told, hey, these are the things we're going to focus on this year. We're going to pay particular attention to it. And they're trying to work out the kinks, too. That would have been a sweet put-back dunk. <laughs> so missed the free throw, nearly had the offensive rebound dunk, one-move combination. Look at this replay. I mean, look at him. He rises up. This is a big yeah. boy play right yeah, here. Yeah, you're going to see him, you see him fly this. out of Look your screen. At, oh, oh just, just missed that. That would have been impressive. Well, see, can we get that one more time, Ken? I'm going to take a look at that. You're going to see him. You don't even see him at first. Not in the screen. Not in the screen. Not in the screen. You're going to see. Here he comes. Waits. Yep. Waits. There he goes. Rises He's going to jump up. over everyone. If, if five for defiance is not standing there, he throws that down. And I would have took my headphones off and walked a mic drop. <laughs> I would have had a, I would have had to go over to the railing and applaud that one, Randy. That would have been impressive. Oh, I nearly had it. So two oh three to go. Time out taken here. Team's trying to uh, for Napoleon might just a chance a little breather. The guys that they've had play. You know, weren't sure who was going to go. We've seen uh, obviously wrestler. Parker Woods a little bit. Shadel off the JV team. Williams, obviously. Cruz, Stoner, Rubenstein. So they've gone about three deep off the bench. Yeah, Napoleon's got nothing to be ashamed of here, Randy. They've played, they've played hard. They've played aggressive. Um, they've crashed the boards. They've hustled. They've played good defense. They've just been outmanned. I mean, Defiance is, like I said, they're, uh, all five starters are back. They're playing at home. they got a nice, solid team. But uh, Napoleon's, Napoleon came to play. And a defiance went seven and two in the WBL a year ago, trying to reach that top level. St. Mary's one of those teams, always tough. Ottawa Glandorf, one of those teams. Can defiance join that top level? Those dogs trying to hold on for this opening night win. The one thing you can always guarantee in that conference is OG is going to be somebody to contend with. They have been since I've been six years old and I'm 49. <laughs> I don't think OG's ever had a down year. It doesn't seem that way. Coaches have changed. Players have changed. Yeah, it's, but it's always the same. Yeah, it the, sty matter. the style of play has not changed. And now the foul committed as Caden Cruz will... Uh, have one. That is just the fifth against Napoleon. So still one more to give. Minute 18 to go. Now it looks like Katz will empty the bench. That might have been what the uh, foul was for. Just to let some of the JV guys see a little playing time tonight. 
this was always the most awkward moment, Randy. You get in for that last minute 18, and your whole mission is to score. All you want to do is get the ball and score. You don't care about anything else. The game's out of hand. There's one minute left. Your mom's here. Your dad's here. Your girlfriend's here. You want to get your name in the box score. So you're doing whatever you can to get that ball and shoot. That's all. That's your only goal right now. I've always wanted to know one thing. What's which it? which coach are you listening to? Because you know the varsity coach. This isn't his guys on the floor. He doesn't yeah, care. No, no. Are you listening to the varsity coach? You listen to your JV coach right no, now. You don't, you're not listening to anybody. You just want the <laughs> ball and you're going to shoot. That's it. <laughs> So both teams are going to play out the string here a minute to go. Come on, 40, put it up. Well, double pump, trying to get inside, triple team. He'll kick it out. Try to get some names to go yeah, with Garrett it. Garrett Rodenberger. There we go, Garrett Rodenberger. He's got it right now. Entry pass slapped away. Stolen by Napoleon. Parker Woods. Woods trying to get the uh, layup. Doesn't go. He got fouled, too. Here is Saldana, seen some time earlier in the half. Pull-up jumper, Lopez in and out. And rebound grabbed by Napoleon. Let's go, Parker. You get Parker Woods. Oh, no, don't give it up. Shoot it from there. Ten seconds to go. I don't know if Napoleon's going to have time. Woods baseline. Does he get the oh, reverse? He does. It. He's in the box score, Randy. He's in the box score. What a way to walk off the court. So Woods able to get the final bucket. That's going to make it 48-34. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll come back and wrap up this opening night win for the Bulldogs when we return here at WOSF. Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical research facility in Northwest Ohio, is expanding operations and looking for high school and college graduates to grow with us. Visit jobs.crefer.com to apply today for excellent pain benefits with no experience necessary. Randy Roberts, Jeremy Wolf back with you one final time from Defiance. 48-34, the Bulldogs get the opening night win uh, over their rivals in the Napoleon Wildcats. And uh, the alma mater now beginning to be played by the pet band. One thing, you want to walk off on your home floor, you want to walk off a winner. And that's what the Bulldogs have done here, Wolfie, on opening night. Well, it was an exciting night, night of basketball, Randy. Thank you so much for having me come over and sit with you tonight. And, uh, you know, you always appreciate these old-time rivalries and Napoleon and uh, Defiance. You talked about it. I mean, it's amazing the number of times they've played, right? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about uh, a couple hundred times. So these communities, they support their, their sports teams. They support their programs. And, uh it was a fun night of basketball. I think both coaches are going to walk away with a lot to uh, look at on film, a lot of things they can do to get better as they continue to move on. But, uh, you know, Defiance definitely, you know, they're in position, I think, to make a run at the, the league title. And if they continue to get better, uh, you know, maybe make a nice long tournament run. Napoleon, they came out, they played well. They're missing some guys. You know, you just got to try to get better until you get those guys back. And then hopefully, uh, you know, who knows what can happen then. So it'll be interesting to see a month or two from now where these teams are. I know it's just opening night. No one wants to talk about the tournament because it's a long ways away yet. But you think about kind of long story and how this plays out. Both teams, Division Two teams, both teams, we said, like last year, expected to play the same sectional. You know, getting this win also goes a long way when that meeting comes with the coaches later on trying to determine your tournament fate. Well, it builds that confidence for Defiance if that matchup did happen again down the road. But last year you saw what happened. Napoleon won the regular season, or I'm sorry, Defiance, Defiance won the won. regular season yep. game. And then, you know, you got into tournament action and Napoleon was able to win. So long way away from now. Uh, but, uh, you know, this Defiance team has a lot to be excited about. And, uh, you know, it would be curious to see how the season progresses uh, for them, for right. sure. We want to thank everyone who made our night here in Defiance possible, uh, starting with Jerry Beauty, the athletic director at Defiance. Can't thank him enough for everything that he's done. Of course, uh, young Nicholas on the camera over there, Nick uh, up on his uh, his uh, holiday break from Miami University. So we thank young Nicholas. And, of course, our director and producer, Ken Reeker. And if I couldn't get Miles Holiday, I'll settle for Jeremy Wolf. So, Wolfie, appreciate it, man. Appreciate you having me. Appreciate you having me. Uh, anytime you need me to fill in, let me know. I'll do it anytime for you, Randy. I appreciate it. 48 34 again, our final defiance gets the win over Napoleon. So, for Jeremy Wolf and our entire 
WOSN crew. I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.